this video, I will show you how to create basic bar and column chart in Microsoft Excel. So I have here the 2021 device sales. We have four types of device. First is desktop, laptop, tablet, and phone. And identified based on the current sales per device. Now, in order for us to create basic bar chart or column chart, you can simply highlight sets of data, for example, this area from A2 to M6. Then you go to Insert tab, and then you have here the selection for Insert column or bar chart. As you can see, we have a lot of selection here. We can look into a clustered column chart. We also have the stocked column chart. And we have the 100% stock column chart. Let me also move into the 3D format. So we have 3D format of clustered column, 3D format for stocked column. For bar chart, you have here the 2D bar chart. You also have the stock bar and 100% 100 stock bar. And at the last part, we have here the 3D clustered bar. We have the 3D stock bar and we have the 100% 3D stock bar. So for my example, let me use here the clustered column chart example. And let me add another one for the stock. Oops, sorry. Let me copy and paste this now. Right. And change the other format to stock. The difference between the two chart, the first chart will actually add the bars on a separate column while in this example for stock chart you'll just see a single column per month however it is divided the the color coding is divided per column right you can also add a bar chart version for that so click on the bar chart select the clustered bar chart over here and let's copy and paste this one right so this example will go to design and let's choose format of clustered bar All right. Now, always take note that these charts are dependent on what we have in the table. For example, if I add filter in the device column, so going to data, click on A2 and click filter. Let's say I just want to see the report for desktop and tablet. Let me click the drop down filter and check desktop and tablet. Click OK. All right, all charts will be moved and changed based on the value of desktop and tablet only. You can always use filter to identify a specific part of bar chart in our reports. Anytime you want to print the chart area, you can click on the chart and then control P and then you can simply print each chart on your report. Lastly, if you want to redesign or reformat any chart types, you can click on the chart area. For example, the first example here, bar chart. And you will notice we have two tabs at the top. We have the design tab and format tab. Design tab, as you can see, we have a lot of templates to choose from. All we need to do is to click or select any of the templates 
We also have layout templates. We have add chart element column. And we have here under design tab, the change chart type button. For the format tab, this is more on a manual manner. So if you want to change each, each portion of your chart manually, you can go to format tab, um, change the shape styles, change the font size, and other properties of the selected chart area. Okay, so let me go back to the design tab and select a uh, specific chart type for this one. All right, and this is how we can create bar and column chart in Microsoft Excel.